Hey everyone, this is my dog Rocco. This is what the channel is named after, Rocco Taco Mining. So I started this channel because I've been in crypto mining for two months now. I decided, what am I going to do? Let's find a hobby. And that's how I'm treating it as. Then I go down this path of, boy, this stuff's expensive. I'm at the almost the height of the popularity of crypto mining. Is it cost prohibitive? I mean, how do you get started? And then you start going through, you watch all the other YouTubers out there, which is very helpful. And they kind of give you the rundown of what they've done. A lot of the guys have been in it for years where the stuff was a lot cheaper. And they, they now look at the prices of GPUs, uh, even rigs for uh, GPUs and, and uh, mining rigs, stuff like that. They look at that and the price is exorbitant. Like some racks were 60 bucks. Now they're 260 bucks. Let's think about this and watch one guy I think is really cool, Brandon Coin. His, uh, his link and the other dudes I learned from are in the uh, description below. He made a great point. Don't spend money. Don't spend your money on stuff that's not going to make you money. So you're looking at these $250 rigs and oh, they got the, the, the flat fans and all that bull crap. No, don't waste your money. Get the GPUs. I figure I start my first video with that concept is don't spend money on stuff that's not going to make you money. Uh, and then my other videos I'm going to go through of the problems I dealt with. Like today I'm fighting motherboard. I got this MSI motherboard won't accept the sixth GPU and I tried everything, power, BIOS, flash. But anyway, I'm going to get into that. That's, it's just a whole roadmap of problem solving. And you have to have problem solving skills, know where to look up stuff, and just try to get this stuff up and running. Uh, so here we are looking at rigs. One of the best things I found was, uh, I'll show that in another video, is the uh, wire racks at Home Depot for 26 bucks. Anyway, the wood frame was another concept I've been seeing all over YouTube. But I said, let's just get some wood, it's a couple bucks, and just piece one together. Because I want to have one where I can just pick it up, like with a motherboard, a PSU, maybe another PSU to power the cards, and maybe six GPUs on it. And I just want to also then have like a wireless Ethernet on. I want to be able to pick it up and just take it upstairs and put it in another room, you know, just to disperse it and just to see if that concept works. So anyway, here's the wood rack. I'm going to try. These are like two by ones or whatever. I just found them. They were cheap. Some guys have squares, but I thought that's way too bulky. And all I'm going to do is build this wood frame, put the motherboard, the ATX motherboard in, and then put hopefully six GPUs in a uh, ATX power supply and probably an HP server power supply as well to power the GPUs. Uh, what I have now is I just want to do six. So these are 24. You want to do basically I'm going to have four for the length. You can see right here length is going to be 24. And I'm going to have these cross members here. And this is where the motherboard will sit right here dead center. These align with these screws on the motherboard. So I'll put it down and I want it open. I was thinking about just putting plywood down. I've seen some guys do that. And I thought, uh, no, nah, I don't want plywood, I want airflow. Airflow is key, you gotta get airflow. The heat really builds up on these uh, these rigs. So you gotta, you gotta think about that uh, heat and power. So the rig, here's the plan. This is gonna be the base. Of course, you're gonna have it going across the top top member 24 9 inch again that's kind of the depth of the uh, motherboard the width you know the width of the motherboard and then the I'll have the front post and I'll have the lower post are probably about five and a half lower I have to I have to double check the height on this so I'm just gonna have it like this uh, so, you know it's gonna be sturdy enough I could have got the big square ones but I just wanted something not too bulky I can just pick this thing up entirety and uh, move it around. So that's where I'm at now. I'll show you when I'm done as I go. It's kind of boring just to watch. You know, I'm just doing basic woodworking and stuff. Countersinking it. Pre-drilling the hole so you don't split the wood. And I'm just gonna use like basic deck screws. And that should be enough. And that should be enough to hold together. And then wood glue. All right, here I am pre-drilling the holes. I got the nail started and I'm gonna start just joining the cross members. And that's a simple way to do it to make sure everything's lined up and dead center. Again, that's for the motherboard support. There you go. I'll do step by step. All right, here I got the uh, base frame together. It went together nicely. The screws. Just got to make sure these are square. 
as you uh, screw them in so they don't get uh, kind of wonky. So that's the base. That's the foundation. Okay, let's try to make the risers and the next deck up. All right, progress to date. I got the um, verticals up. I decided to uh, just, I had, I'm going to make this flush right here just for more uh, strength. So I just put them flush instead of obviously butt the butt, which wouldn't have made sense. Put a little glue on one of these just to shore it up. I didn't really need to, but just had one little minor splittage. And even I drilled that, it still kind of split, but oh well. It's just a rig. It's just, again, to save money. Um, I'll go see something. There he goes. There's a taco mining dog. There he goes. He's off. All right, that's the dog. That's the dog. The channel is about the dog. <laughs> that dog, he, he loves iguanas. He loves chasing them. All right, so we got this member. We got this. We're going to put a cross piece. We did put this cross piece here. I ran out of wood. So I need to get three of these long uh, six foot two by ones, whatever they are. I want to run same like here, this, this length piece. I want to run it here to here so the shorter GPOs can rest with the riser um, mounted to it, can rest on here. And if you got the longer 3080 TIs or 3090s, they'll come back and rest on this bit as well. I hope I did that right. <laughs> I hope I did that right because this is with the riser. I'm hoping... Well, with the risers on, that's fine. That's good, because the riser will be, even if it's a 38, 39, I'll still have the riser, and I'll have this piece going across for it to sit on. So I got this. This is pretty sturdy for, I mean, just freaking single deck screw through it. So for this build, I needed to get one more of these one inch by two inch by eight foot. Uh, I need to put a cross member here, and I'm going to run one all the way down the middle here so the uh, riser can sit on that. There you go. And kablammo, we're back, okay. Got it together. We got the old AMD uh, Hellhound. Hellhound right here sitting on it as a, uh, that's kind of a beta just to see how it, how it worked out. This guy is great because I got a GPU riser right here sitting on this cross member going across the length of this guy to take the load off. I got a little self-tapping screw here. These spacing, I got one, two, three, four, five, six. So three, about from here to here is three and three quarter inches from the edge of the bracket, three and three quarter inches. So you could put six in here and that. Anyway, got this. So for what, four times three, 12 bucks, maybe 15 bucks with the screws. I'll show you what I got here. So these are one by two by eights right there. They're four bucks each at the old depot. And these are number two screws. These are, da, 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 what are these? One and a quarter inch was perfect. And I know I just got, I don't know, you can get drywall screws, but these are decking screws, no rust, right? Uh, and I just blocked it in here. So I'll be able to put the motherboard here, the ATX power supply here. And I might, yeah, I'll lay that flat. And if it doesn't work out, I could put the ATX this way and put another power supply here. But anyway, there you go. It's cheap and dirty. I mean, you can go out and spend all the money in the world on a new freaking mining rig. The only thing I would like is if they're stackable. I guess you can make your own stackable too. But this is quick and dirty just to get the things up and running, get the job done, dick around waiting for stuff to come in or spending 250 bucks on a metal rack when you can go spend 12, 15 bucks, slap one together and what? Besides videoing and running the kids around, under an hour for cutting and measuring and just wagging it without any really f about the only polished touches I did was countersink the holes and I had a couple splittage you know maybe one splittage not bad and I just glued it up but there you go you have all the power cables coming out here out the back you can use this to wrap them whatever I don't think I'd go with the tube uh, the what is it two by two one that's one the two by two square i think that'd be really bulky um but this is it man there you go so again measurements all right i know i know them by heart since i went through this lengthwise you got the one two one two three four five 24 inches for six gpus uh these are the cross beams here right here nine inches 
and this vertical is 11. So right there with, here, sorry, oh my gosh. That's 11 with the uh, other board sitting on top. I could have centered this or hang it this way, but I thought this was good to make it flush since these aren't square. You can get the square pieces, but I think the two by twos, it's just too much weight, it's too bulky. Uh, this is perfect, this is sturdy. I can carry this around and I put the motherboards and all that stuff. So there it is, short and sweet. Hope you liked it. But Rocco Tacos the dog, this is his mining channel. And uh, put a lot of stuff in the description below, all the YouTubers I learned from, and I'm still learning, because God, there's a lot to learn with this. And I always say, don't spend more money than you're willing to lose. Don't go broke. You can go broke on these GPUs, so watch your ROI. But if it's a hobby, you know, have fun with it. It's kind of fun. It's playing with hardware. You learn about power, heat, airflow, how to buy stuff. It's hard to find these things, and you get, in, in, uh, you get innovative on how to buy GPUs, and we can talk about that, too. Um, that's all I got, guys. Thanks for watching. It's just fun. You know, if, I, if you have, if you're into this crypto mining, if you're not, you're only a fan, just jump in, buy a couple cards, you know, set your budget and go from there and just start mining. You can mine in Windows. You don't have to go to Hive OS or NiceHash. And, but nice, NiceHash is an easy way in though, but eh, something to think about. So much to talk about. So anyway, my first thing was to make a frame, show people that you don't have to go broke, wasting money on stuff that's not making you money. And thanks to Brandon Coin for that words of wisdom, man. This is cheap, you know, hard to get wood, but you know what I mean? It's uh, 12 bucks for wood right there. And uh, that's all I needed to get this up, get this frame built. I can start stacking, racking and stacking GPUs and motherboards and go from there.